Let's start with what's happening before SCOTUS today. The Supreme Court taking up this controversial law down in Texas where they tried something we had never seen before, which was to pass a, a basically a private right of enforcement of a law that said you can't have an abortion later than six weeks. And the average term of pregnancy that leads to an abortion is around 16 weeks. So this is well before the average time a woman would seek an abortion. The federal law at the Supreme Court level has already been recognized to extend to a 24 week uh, ability to abort a fetus. And um, Texas got around it by saying, we're going to make it six weeks. We're going to tie it to a heartbeat. And we're going to say, instead of having a state official come after you, if you violate that as a mother, um, we're going to allow a private right of enforcement by a cab driver, anybody who aids or abets um, anybody could bring it against a cab driver, et cetera, who aids or abets in the performance of the abortion. Finally, it goes up before the Supreme Court. And so far this morning, the reports are not totally unexpected, but it looks like um, Alito and Gorsuch are the ones who are potentially open minded to upholding the Texas law. Clarence Thomas always says nothing, but I'm going to guess he's with them. Justice Roberts, Chief Justice Roberts, suggested he's not totally unsympathetic. He said, I share some of the concerned concerns voiced by Alito and Gorsuch. But um, you tell me that's four at best. I don't know about Amy Coney Barrett. You know, she's a she's a potential vote for that. But this is a crazy law. I mean, it's really this is out there. And whether you think, based on what I've just said, it has any chance of being upheld. Well, the argument that's being made is an argument I made the day the law was passed. And I wrote it in an article on the Hill. And that is, if this law is upheld, then any liberal state can pass a similar law saying anybody who owns a gun can be sued. Anybody who participates in a gay marriage can be sued. Anyone who does anything that the conservatives don't like um, uh, and the liberals like can also be the subject of this. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, and it doesn't pass the shoe on the other foot test. So this is not just about abortion. It's about whether any state can circumvent the Supreme Court's decision by simply allowing a bounty to be offered to anybody outside the state or in the state who wants to earn $10,000 for challenging the lawsuit. And that was raised even by Justice uh, Thomas, uh, who's very concerned about the Second Amendment. Well, what if this was used in New York? If New York passed a statute saying anyone who tries to possess a gun consistent with the Second Amendment in Heller uh, or helps anybody get a gun can be sued for at least $10,000 plus their legal fee. So my prediction, the court will not uphold this and there will be probably two or three votes. I'm not even sure about Thomas. Uh, but I don't think they're going to get five mm. to uphold this terrible precedent, forgetting about abortion, terrible precedent that would have completely undercut the civil rights movement, the anti-segregation movement. All Mississippi had to do is pass a statute saying that anybody who went to grades school can be sued by anybody who doesn't like it. And if that were to be upheld, that would be the end of the Supreme Court's power yes. in the area of segregation, gay rights, religious That's right. rights. It's an obvious end around what's been recognized as a constitutional right. You may not agree that it's a constitutional right, but the Supreme Court has so held. It's an obvious end around that. That's not the way the system is designed to work. You may like it on this case if you're pro-life, but you will not like it when it's used by the Democrats, as you point out, or as Kavanaugh actually raised today, conservative justice appointed by Trump, um, when it comes up, for example, on a gun right. Kavanaugh said, to your point earlier, anyone who sells an AR-15 is liable to a private citizen for a million dollars? Would such a law be subject uh, to this? So th all the justices are struggling with what this means and what, what they term the floodgate issues on this. And the two liberals, Breyer and Sotomayor, two of uh, the three, Kagan's another, um, are pressing uh, all sorts of hypotheticals that could be could lead to private citizen end arounds when it comes to race integration of schools, as you mentioned, the right to same sex marriage. There's no end to what an angry citizenry could do. It would lead to the complete erosion of predictability on our constitutional rights and the law, and not just for judge-made law like Roe, but actual rights as documented in the Bill of Rights. Sure. I mean, you could do it with the First Amendment. Anybody who engages in hate speech, even though hate speech is protected by the First Amendment, uh, can be can be sued. So this is not an abortion case. The abortion case will be argued. This is not an abortion case. This is a case about whether states can circumvent rights by allowing private citizens 
to bring lawsuits that would make it impossible for people to exercise their rights. Nobody's going to take a chance. No cab driver, no Uber driver, no doctor is going to take a chance that he can be or she can be ruined completely by a lawsuit. Now, you know, once the lawsuit comes up, it'll probably be struck down as unconstitutional. But in the meantime, and we all live in the meantime all the time, thousands of women are being chilled out of being able to get abortions now. And by the time the Supreme Court rules, they may be beyond the period where even under the Supreme Court, they can get abortions. So Mm -hmm. it will have succeeded in undercutting a woman's right to have an abortion before a certain amount of time passes. Mm -hmm. They can, I mean, obviously they can go to another state outside of Texas, but given the socioeconomic situation that a lot of women are facing, not everybody's got the money for that and everybody's got the time to drive all the miles and so on. So, I mean, you know, as as a lawyer, I look at this and say, I get that you don't like it. This is not the way to do it. There is a real case coming up that's going to challenge Roe versus Wade out of Mississippi. The court's going to hear it. They're going to get to the, the bare bones of whether Roe should stand and Casey, which reinterpret it in 1992. This is not the way. 